Presenting. Channeling Eric's Hour of Enlightenment. Hello, one. And we have Michelle Gray, awesome healer and channel, and much more. So, uh, and we're going to talk about Eric, you're going to help us figure out how to hear our guides better, or really any spirits better, right? So that's going to mm-hmm, be fun. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I understand that, and I love you, Eric, and I love you, Michelle, and I love all of you guys listening. But I understand Michelle has an Eric story to share. <laughs> yes. Um, Eric says, love you, Mom, and I love you too, Lisa. And Eric's saying that um, he loves each and every one of you. He's so excited to be here. And (laughs) he said the funniest thing today. And um, it's just, it might have been just the way he popped it in my head. I don't know. But I was doing a session this afternoon with somebody. And um, if she's listening, she'll know. Um, But he was talking to her about, her power and about embodying her power. And mm. Elisa, you and I talk about this all the time about how you are yeah. God, like you are a fractal of God. Yeah. You are powerful. And he says, you are God in the bod. Yeah. <laughs> God in the bod. And I up so hard. Oh God, God in the bod. It. Oh my God. I love it. Yes. When I'm doing my skater work, I constantly talk to the person I'm, you know, doing work on, and I say over yeah. and over again how, how they are a whole and part of God, how uh, they are so perfect in every way, and how they are loved, and how they are actual love, the energy of love, and, and, and you know, how yeah. divine and powerful they are, and how they have complete sovereignty over their energy, and how they must love them. So I, I get, I, 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 of course, you know. No, it's, it's so true. It's so true. Yeah. We are so powerful. Yeah. But people don't realize that, you know? No. And, and you know, I, no. I think it's, it might be good for people to, every morning or every night before the bed or whenever, to just start saying to yourself in the mirror, I love you. You're awesome. Mm-hmm. You're perfect mm-hmm. as you are. And just, you know, fake it till you make it, man. You know? I think it's super important. Okay, take it away. Yes. So Eric says, um, now we talk about this every once in a while, and Eric said it's important to bring it up again because it's good to have a refresher. And then for for those that are just starting to want to hear their guides or just starting their awakening, so he says it's a really good thing to go back and revisit as well. But we really want to talk about um, what hearing him, hearing guides, hearing spirit is like. Um, how do you do it? What does it sound like? How do you communicate? All of that fun stuff. And um, the first thing that Eric brings forward is he says, number one thing, and this goes for everything. He says, number one, he's like, do you believe that you can? Or do you believe that others can and you can't? Because he says, if you Ooh. believe that you can, if you think that Uh, And he says, and and remember, like, listen to that inner talk, because something that he points out all the time, and many people will say, well, Michelle, I don't hear him like you hear him, or I don't hear him like the other mediums hear him. And Eric always goes, stop, 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 stop. Uh, 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 uh. No, stop right there. I'm guilty of that. Right? Change that wording. Change that wording. Just change that belief. He's like, let's back this up. Let's back it up. Let's go the other way. He says, do you believe? So change your wording to something that you can believe today. So what if you don't feel that you can and it feels a little bit awkward or not quite right to say, I'm hearing my guides. I'm hearing my guides. So he says, okay. So say, I hear better and better each day. Uh, I am hearing more and more each day. I am having more awareness of my guides each day. He goes, change the wording around so that you're inviting. And he says, like, Mom, like just like what you're saying about I love myself. I am amazing. I am beautiful. He says, use those words. Incorporate that word, that feeling, that embodiment into your each day. He says, because a belief is a repeated thought over 
and over and over. So when you bring that thought, when you bring that awareness in and you repeat it over and over, he says it catches on. He says the consciousness of your body, your mind, everything starts to listen. So he says that's really important. What do you believe? And do you believe you can? And then he says the second thing is, too, he says, how about asking? Because another really common thing is a lot of people are like, well, I'm not hearing anything. And he says, are you asking? Are you saying, hey, are you there? Are, they must are you know. around? They don't, they, don't, they don't think about this. That and is exactly is, true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He says, like, it, it's simple. He goes, it's really simple. But yeah. he says, it's so true that um, a lot of times we don't think about that. We don't think about asking. So he says, think about you know, if you're communicating with a friend and he says, your guides are your friends and they actually yeah. know you better than most physical people know you. Mm. So mm. he says, your guides are your friends. So you want to ask if they want to hang out. Do you want to ask if they're there? You want to ask them a question. He says, get comfortable with asking. Get comfortable with using that in your day, day-to-day activities. Ask. And then the is other thing true? he says is... Oh, boy. Hmm? No, go ahead. Well, go ahead. Just, okay. Well, he's he's going to move on a little bit past asking. So were you going to say something about asking? Well, yes. I was wondering if you could do the same thing with our deceased loved ones. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's and if you're not really if you're not saying something, then you can say, make this stronger. Make it stronger. Make yes. it stronger. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. Go ahead. And and well, and he agrees because he says, Mom, that's true. He says a lot of what we're saying today, it can be used with our loved ones too. So he says you can yeah. kind of take it any way, any way that you'd like. But he says That's after good. you ask, he goes, are you listening? He's like, are you listening? A lot of times if you're asking or you're saying, hello, 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 are you Whoa, there? Yeah. He goes, well, then, then you move on. And he says, and we're standing there going, hey, are you paying attention? And he says, mm-hmm. and, and you're not. So he says, are you listening? He goes, are you feeling it? Do you see it? Do you know it? Can you hear it? So he says, are you paying attention to all your senses? And he says, and for those that might say hear us in one way right now, he goes, maybe you feel your guides and you want to start hearing or you want to start working on something else, on seeing. And he says, so start to practice paying attention to those ways that that comes in now. And he says, but, you know, however, many of us have two dominant, we have two dominant clairs. So we might hear. And the other thing too, that he's just saying is um, he wants me to this really quick because um, he wants to talk about the actual word hearing. And um, Mm -hmm. on my own YouTube channel, this is something that, that I talked about a little bit with um, somebody that I work with. And mm. Eric says hearing doesn't necessarily mean that we're hearing the physical voice. Ah. He says, Cause remember, he says, we don't have a voice box. We're right. not using a voice box. Mm-hmm. Now that's not to say that you can't hear that, you know, that you won't be able to hear a physical voice because it, it can happen and they manipulate energy from us and from electronics and all kinds of other things to be able to produce the voice. Yeah, I found that that to be particularly Mm -hmm. true when they leave EVPs, like Eric's actual voice is sounding like him. Yes. Uh, You know, on on EVP uh, during a radio show interview. So, yeah, absolutely. Yes, that's right. And so so that definitely does happen. And, I mean, do we do we hear? Yes, I do hear Eric's voice occasionally. Uh, predominantly, I don't hear him that way. I hear him more uh, through the body, but I hear him as um, like my own voice, like block. Yeah, I, I, I get that voice. too. Yes, but yeah. it seems to me it's like it comes to my ear, to my right ear, like it's yes. coming. Okay. From- Perfect that you said that because that brings Eric to the next point because he says, all right, everybody, he goes, we're going to do a little practice right now. He goes, so everybody listening, close your eyes for a second. He's like, now, inside, in in your head, don't say it out loud, but in your head, 
say Eric's name. So say Eric. And he goes, and you can do it a couple times, but pay attention to where it's coming in. Where are you hearing that word when you're saying it in your head? So on the count of three, everybody take a second and say Eric in your head and try to feel where you're getting it in your head. Okay? One, two, three. Yep, my right ear. Okay. But it'd be okay. different for other people, right? So, yeah. You know, and, and so what happens is you're starting to see where is my clear audience? So ah. where am I getting that? So Eric says if you practice with words and you say them silently, and he says, and practicing with Eric is something that he will sit with you and do this, and you can engage by asking questions, but first work with producing it yourself. Produce the word yourself. Right. And then listen oh. to where the resonance is inside your head, because that's going to be where the meridian or where the spot is that it's entering. And you can start to develop more from there, but if you're not familiar with that, that's a really good starting point. And you, what you'll notice is when you are communicating with spirit or you're asking questions, you'll start to notice that your knowing, your thoughts, sometimes the words will pop in mm-hmm. in that area. So it's a really good way, really good way to practice. So um, uh, what, what else, else, Eric? Okay. Yeah. Well, I have this. Uh, dear friend who lost a child, Jacob, and, you know, mm-hmm. it's like, when you're grief-stricken, it's so hard, to, oh, it's so hard to raise your energetic vibration mm-hmm. enough to meet their highest vibration. So, mm-hmm. what's a good way for people like her, who are freshly grief-stricken, to to be able to hear their babies? Mm-hmm. Um, so, that, that's a really good one, because Eric says, Mom, he goes, there are things that, that um, they can do, and he says things like um, listening to music. Um, he says whether oh. it's something that's gentle. Um, sometimes it can be listening to ocean sounds or mm. flute music or whatever gives you that calming effect. Mm. Um, he says also talking. He says uh, conversing with somebody in a conversation where he says um, – raises your vibration. So talking to somebody that you enjoy talking to, it makes you feel not, better. It's not, Having not a light, a light loved conversation. One. I'm sorry, not that it's mm-hmm. his loved one necessarily, right? But just someone no, you enjoy talking no. to. Okay. Yeah, Ta- talking to somebody that he says like a physical conversation. He says, and part of that, why that works, is because if you're talking to somebody that generally – uh, you enjoy being around that makes you feel good. And he goes, we all have people that we know we enjoy being around because they we leave them feeling better. We feel yes. better when we walk away. And he says, yes. if you want to connect with that friend or that family member, or whomever that is in your life that you can have a conversation with that you can kind of, uh, he says, shoot the shit with or, um, you know, just check in with each other. He goes, you're doing a couple things. One, you're unloading things off of you. Ah. Um, second of all, he goes, when you're with somebody else that makes you feel good, they help you raise your vibration. So oh. he says, they'll help lift you up. So sometimes he says, when you're in a lower vibration and you're going through something and uh, you've lost somebody very close to you and you've been in that heavy mm-hmm. vibration, he says, it really helps to be around somebody that can help raise you up. And he says, and that's what leaning on other people can do for you. So when you have that elevated vibration after being with that person, that's a really good time to connect after that. The other thing is he says writing. He says write to oh, your yeah. loved ones. Write a letter yeah. to them. He says tell yeah. them how you feel. Tell them about what's going on in your life. Tell them about how you miss them. He goes, talk to them as if they're right there because they are. So yeah. he says, you can get it all out on paper. He goes, when you do things to discharge the energy. So anything like that is expression. So talking, writing, singing, uh, doing anything physical, any type of physical activity, walking, mm-hmm. um, yeah. painting. Yeah, moving, moving. Anything get like your, that. Get your energy flowing. I bet that's very That's right. That's right. Okay, so... That's um, right. And, yeah. Go ahead. Well, he also said um, any kind of play, 
any kind of yeah. play, anything that yeah. he goes, even if it means throwing a ball around, any kind of yeah. play. Okay. Interesting. All right. So um, how can one capture an EDP with their loved ones and, and, or, and or their guides? I mean, uh, you know, I, I've tried doing a voice activated, whatever, uh, a little recorder and it works great. Uh, but mm-hmm. is there anything else uh, any, or any other suggestions as to how to communicate with them. I know somebody said to put a, a thin coat of um, baby powder or flour and overnight and see if there's any messages that are drawn in it. But, you know, I, I didn't do that. Because I, I, at that time I had cats. Yeah. And all I would get is footprints. Yeah, because if you don't have pets, that's a really great thing you can do too. Um, mm-hmm. The other thing is, is he says you can play games like asking for signs. Um hmm. Somebody that he's pointing out to me in particular is Sarah Kajawa with oh. Adam. And yeah. she always plays games with um, having license plates and um, different colored vehicles and synchronicities. And so Eric is just saying, you know, make a game. Um, something that um, some what, another person I know that um, that I work with, she had gone to um, – trying to think, I think it was a mentorship group or something that she was in and for connecting with their guides. And I thought this was the best thing. And I've shared this with others too, is to play a game where every 24 hours you renew a question with your guides. So you ask your guides a question and Eric's just reminding to say, and and remember, don't make it too complicated, but you can say, um, this is my question. Uh, I wonder about for example, how to raise my vibration and give them 24 hours to show it to you. Put a time limit on it. But is it important? leave it very open. Yeah. What's that? Is it important to to say with great love or special gratitude, I mean, to do that, or will they just do it anyway into your room? Um, well, Eric says here's the thing. It's about the intention behind what you're asking. So if yeah. your demeanor is demanding. If your demeanor is in that demanding state yes, and that's how you're expressing it, yeah, yeah it's not going to work. He goes, gratitude is an awesome yes. energy. Yeah. It's a loving, awesome energy. So, yeah, he goes, of course that will help. Saying any of that stuff will help. Absolutely. Okay. So Papa came home today, and he, he was very excited, Eric. He told me that uh, he was – Ordering some motor for some shade, um, lowering and, and uh, raising the shade. And uh, mm-hmm. Papa said, Well, you know, said, what's your name, Medhu? Blah, blah, blah. And he said, Wait, Medhu? Is your wife a doctor? Yeah. Oh my God, I've been following her for years. She's changed. They have, t- Eric and her have changed my life. It was really, it was really good Aww. for my husband to, to hear that since he knows now that maybe I'm not just a total clutch and with so many of my flaws that you got that but so that that was kind That's of cool. awesome. I don't hear that very often but it's nice to to know that this, you know people don't often reach out and say wow you really helped me Eric or and Elisa and stuff so um, that, that yeah. was really yeah. a nice change that, anything else you want to say really neat way um Eric's just saying he's just um flipping back to uh, what you said about the EVPs yeah, and um, he just wants to add that um, you know a lot of our cell phones now are sensitive enough that we can record and we can we can basically he says ask questions and um, he wants to just comment one thing though he says think of this as any form of divination so using electronics like there's certain recorders that are going to be more sensitive than others that may right. pick up voices easier. But he says the very best tool is us. And so as our vibration, the more we believe and work on it, no matter what we use, he goes, and this is how two people could be using the same object and one could be getting a lot of responses and the other could get none at all. And I've had oh. this exact thing where I've, I've stood beside somebody who is using their cell phone and recording orbs and they're getting nothing and I've got pink and blue and green and they're flat wow. in the same room. The exact oh same God. room. They leaned over to me and said, Oh, you're using a filter. You have to like, no, that's no filter. Wow. 
You know, and the other thing, too, is um, uh, one of the ways that I first started communicating with Eric, and this has become uh, a staple in my, in my day, is I downloaded ages ago one of those ghost radar apps. Well, I was just going to ask if it does work. Yes, yes, because it's, it's, it's electronic and lights and everything very easily. And yeah. when I first started using it, I wasn't quite sure if I believed in it or not. So I would play games like ask things in my head that I knew it couldn't hear to Ooh. see if I could get the answers. And it, it started working. Well, Eric started showing up in it very early on, and he would give me, like, he would tell me his age. Um, he would say, like, he said something like, um, sail or talk. Oh, yeah. And he said, sir, said certain things to me, and I was like, oh, my God. Well, to this day, I actually, I'll turn this on when I do my healing sessions, and I'll have it running. And I got my eyes closed in meditation and getting information, and it'll go off like crazy and give me all kinds of words and validation because it's about that that connection. The truth yeah. is, is it's the personal connection to it. And, again, Eric says, because it backs up to belief, because I know yeah. that they can use it and I know they will use it and they know that I pay attention to it. And there's a strength of vibration there because they know that I'm looking at it, I'm acknowledging it. Because Eric says the other thing is, too, think about it's a friendship, and if your friend is sending you flowers, calling you on the phone, uh, communicating with you, and you're ignoring them and saying, no, that's not them. No, I don't believe it. He says, well, then they're not going to keep doing it that way. Of course not. So belief is is our, our sometimes our hardest thing to get over, but yeah. it's definitely the strongest. I will say that for the the work of Atlanta Scaler, it's mm-hmm. highly successful. But yeah. I'm learning now that the only time it doesn't work mm-hmm. is number one when um, uh, somebody has an irrevocable contract. But that's not very common, okay? And even mm-hmm. if you do have an irrevocable contract, you can find out what it is. You can do whatever mm-hmm. it takes to honor it, like inner child work, whatever. Yeah. But then the main thing is disbelief or skepticism or yeah. anger yeah. or resentment. Yeah. You, it will not yeah. work if your thought creating reality is is so strong. And that, and I, I had that happen with one person. It's like she, she was she's such an angry person. It's like you better prove mm-hmm. this is right or else. That kind of thing. And so I said, no, I'm not going to do anything mm-hmm. for you. I can't. I cannot mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, that's super important. Um, anything else, Eric? No, um, Eric just said, he just said that's true. Like belief belief is such a, a, a big thing. And um, yeah. he said, you know, uh, our conscious belief, so we could be saying one thing, but he said it's the, it's the real. It's the subconscious. It's what's really yeah. underneath. And that's what takes all that work. You know, for us to to switch our belief because we could say, oh, "I believe this, I believe this," but he goes, "You can't lie to the energy." No, especially if you're it. like, "I believe this, but I'm not worthy of getting better." You know, that, that's, that's right. A, a that's right. It's, it's contradictory. It's, it's like yeah. it cancels each other out. It's like it yeah. cancels it out. So, mm-hmm. but um, no, that's pretty much all he um, all he really has to say about it. Um, but um, he's looking forward to continuing to communicate with everybody. Um, he's just saying that um, he likes to come into people's hearts as well. So for those, those of you that really feel the energy, um, mm. Eric will come right in your heart space and that. So you can practice with that, like with the body as well. So he's, he's really good at doing that. Um, the other oh. thing is too, just from, from me, um, Eric is, very, um, I want to say he's he's easy to communicate with. You know, he's um, yeah. one of our guys that very, he really is. A, yeah, he's got a very yeah. particular energy signature. Hyper, playful, he, boyish. He does. Uh, he does. Uh, mischievous, he does. yeah. It's, it's kind of easy he to does. recognize. It really is. And, um, you know, Eric, I always say he, he comes in. Um, like in the very beginning, he comes in so playful and funny and jokey and pranky, but boy, can he ever help us work through stuff. 
and really mm. lay out those lessons. And I, like, I just, it's absolutely amazing. He is an amazing teacher. But, you know, you trust and you work with him and develop that friendship with him. He yeah. is an amazing guide. Yeah. Yeah, and I've heard so many people say that, that he's helped me become a medium, you know, all that kind of stuff. And he's yeah. worked with me. And, and so that's another thing is, you know, I think, mm-hmm. and you can confirm this, um, mm-hmm. Eric slash Michelle, uh, which is mm-hmm. Michelle. Michelle. Well, anyway, so um, that you can just ask, Eric, help me communicate with my guy, yeah. or Eric, help me yeah. communicate with my loved ones, and you know, he loves you, right? Yes, yes. Eric, Eric loves to do that. He is, he is awesome at it. Um, I can't tell you how many times where somebody has had a loved one that passed, like you know, maybe two days before they had a session and for whatever reason no. they were not as strong. And all I do is say to Eric, can you help bring them in? Can you bridge them yeah. through? Every time, every time, like he is right there. So he's very helpful. So all you got to do is ask. Yeah, it's, he's amazingly good at that. All yeah. right, I guess we'll start taking uh, calls, I guess, if that's okay with Sounds you guys. Good. But yeah, we're, we're ready. We're going to ask about Stanislaw Master Knack from Poland. He has cancer. Oh. I don't think that's getting the uh-huh. best of him. I've been trying to work on him, but now he has an, a, a you know intestinal obstruction. Uh, is there what can what more can we do for Stanislaw Master Knack? Are there contracts involved that are irrevocable? I mean, just help me help him basically. Well, there is, Eric says there, there is contract in there. Um, he's got, a, there's a really strong energy of fear. Um, mm. But it's like a buildup of fear and worry. Um, what Eric's saying is that uh, he's talking about being able to reduce the mass. So you might not be able to make it go okay. away, but, okay. but to be able to reduce it or slow it okay. down. Well, we have not we've um, done the ERPE on him. We haven't done the, the cancer um, thing on him, but in that, there is debulking tumor, blocking the, the um, blood supply to tumors, unraveling and destroying the DNA of the cancer cells, yes, that, increasing that and decreasing the, blocking the expression of oncogenes, increasing the tumor suppressor genes. I mean, we've got so many things in that script. It's just huge. Yeah. Um, um, Eric says that to, to have patience with it. Eric also says um, it would really help if he could talk to a healer, yeah. um, especially one that would be able to um, maybe go through because um, it's not only past life regression, but a little bit of um, healing work in this life. As Could well. you recommend? Um, but I, I don't know. Cordy, a, yeah, I, I don't Cordy know. If Dillon. A, okay, I, yeah, CourtneyDillon.com. I don't know if there's a language barrier, um, but you know, I, I just recently did the ERPE on so. You know, we're still releasing type emotions, reuniting soul fragments, yeah. blocking all yeah. that. Can we wait for that before doing anything else, or is there anything else scalar work yeah. that we need to do? No, no. Um, Eric says to let that to let that grab hold. Um, okay. He also says that. Um, so it, it looks like that may do some slowing it down oh, in itself because this yeah. is very driven by like it's right in the center of a stomach area yeah. Um, oh, yeah. worry, worry oh. and fear stored right oh. in there so that's what he says is the energetic connection to it probably some past life thing like maybe somebody shot yeah. in the stomach you never know something like that well, so that's probably also, there's some abandonment some loneliness abandonment in there too okay interesting all right, let's go mm-hmm. on to the next person. I got somebody from the 267 area code. Hi there, how you doing? Hey, good. This is Jessica from Pennsylvania. Hi, hey, Jessica from PA. What's up? <laughs> I would love a message. Lots of things have shifted over the last couple of weeks. Okay, Eric, what you got? 
Well, let me just ask you, because Eric is just saying um, about trust, trusting, and he's saying Mm -hmm. that um, shifting, he says what has happened is like you rising out of the ashes. Yes. So uh, he's just like, way to go. Uh, because this is, and he's also calling you beautiful. He says you're beautiful. Mm. Oh, wording. That's yeah. not very touching. But what? Because he says keep trusting. So um, has something happened that has kind of changed your direction, or? Well, so I'm the girl that was living in the motel. I'm still living in the motel. <laughs> um, ah. <laughs> But I, it, it just feels like I, I got this job. I've been bringing in income again on a regular basis. I'm like I'm back on my feet. I don't identify as homeless anymore. Like I, awesome. I just I look at yeah. myself differently. Like I feel in my power yeah. again. But that, and that's it. So that's why that's why he says like the phoenix coming out of the ashes. So yeah. that's exactly exactly. So he says keep trusting, keep going because this is like one foot in front of the other. So you'll be in a very different place. So next time we talk to you, you'll be in another new place to share with us. Awesome. Yeah, the, the, the trusting thing is because I feel so much has shifted yet. Well, mm, so it's like I feel like, okay, well, my time here is done. I know I'm going to find my house mm-hmm. in the next couple days or weeks or what. And I know I'm going to get mm-hmm. a new job and I'm going to start teaching and talking about my experience. That I had yes. a homeless for three months, but yet yes. I, I'm kind of just I'm in this space of like, well, you have to trust that it actually is going to shift in the physical. I feel a little bit, you know, oh, is it really going to is it really going to shift? Like, of course it is, but it's like, well, well how soon? So remember you know? this. Eric mm-hmm. says to remind you of this, and this this is important to you, is because everything that happens. Um, energetically, because everything happens first energetically, right? Because when we are yeah. creating as creators, it's happening in the ethers first as energy. So then it goes from the potential field into the manifesta- manifestation field and then mm. into our physical reality. So wow. you're watching it go through really? these processes, yeah. right? Yeah. And so you've already seen part of it come together. So when when and Eric always says, once you start seeing it work, it becomes easier and easier to trust and believe in it because it can't not happen. Like That's there's awesome. no possible way it can't not happen. Yeah. So do you see what I mean? Like it's just it has to come. That's universal law. It can't awesome. not happen. How cool. it stops is when you when you block it or you say it's not going to happen. And it's not that it really stops. It reroutes. Right. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Because I, I, know, I know all of this, but it's like I don't, I don't like that I still have that insecurity because this is like a, quote, bigger thing for me or more, yeah. you know. It like, takes time. Be gentle with yourself. Be patient and gentle with yourself. Yeah. Gentle with yourself. Thank you, Jessica, for calling in. All right, let me yeah, see. Um, oh, I, I want to remind everybody, one question per, please. Try not to do follow-up questions because, you know, there's so many people that really need a chance to talk to Eric. So, uh, all right, got somebody from the 501 Eric card. Hi there, how you doing? Doing all right. How about y'all? Good. Who are we talking to? This is Donna Fraser from Arkansas. Okay. Donna yeah. Fraser. Yeah, Hi, yeah. Donna. This is the cobbler lady. Hi, oh, cobbler lady. <laughs> but it, anyhow, I was wondering, are there? do I have any more blockages? I will tell you this. Eric says, and this must be the night of the Phoenix Rising. Because mm. Eric says, you are in transformation, honey. You're in transformation. Cool. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Oh You're welcome. <laughs> we love y'all. Continue to we help Donna. The cobbler lady, please, Eric. Uh, he says he says he is happy to. <laughs> oh. Okay. Here. Uh, we have somebody from the 817 area code. Hey there. What's up? Hello, this is B King. How are you? What's your name? Hi. B King. Okay. Oh okay, yeah. My yeah. Yes. Yes. Hi. Um 
You did the um, one of the services was for my small medium ship, and mm-hmm. I think it's it's working really really good. So um, I've been doing the tarot cards, um, and I know Eric is helping me. I just want like oh. uh, an advice of what to do next. Eric, are you helping her? I mean, I, I oh, think yeah. he's probably. Oh, good. Yes. Good. He says. He says, of course I am. Um, oh. He says to keep. He says to keep working with tarot cards, um, because he says you're building, um, like building momentum, like building your self esteem with it. So he says mm. continue to do that. He also says um, uh, use the imagination, like explore the imagination. So you're meant to be able to help people with grief, oh. to help work with grief. So um, what he says is that, you know, by working with the cards, it's helping work with your intuition. Um, he says meditation would also be something to be really helpful, but he says just to be able to be still with the energy of your higher self. Okay. So he says, imagine Eric sitting with you. If you guys are just sitting still for a minute. Nice. He cool. says, imagine sitting in warm light together and then oh. work with your cards. He says, do it as a practice every day because he says it, you want to build that momentum. And what the cards are going to do is they're going to keep giving you guidance. And he says three things to pay attention to is where is my passion pulling me? Where is my preference pulling me? You know, what what decisions does that make me or what follow me or lead me to? Opportunities will come from that. So you have to keep paying attention to what you're being pulled to and let the cards guide you because Eric is speaking to you with the cards, but he's also using that as a tool. So you won't always need the cards to speak to Eric, but he's Interesting. using that as a tool right now to, to kind of bridge your communication. In sitting with him and just sitting in the light is the two of you being able to connect your energy. It's like kind of holding space for each other. So he helps hold space for you, and you're going to notice as you continue to do this, you're going to start getting information before you see the cards. Oh, wow. And it's going to come in, and then you'll see the cards and go, oh, my God, that's what I was already getting. And so you'll oh notice God. that that will just continue to strengthen, and then you'll move over to something else. Wow. Okay. okay. So when, when, is, when, is she, no, wait, when is she going to be ready to do this as a profession? How many months, weeks, years? Well, he says, yeah. he says, honestly, mom, he says, that's really going to be up to her because yeah. this is all about her confidence. He goes, oh, yeah. she could be ready. She could be ready by, you know, six months from now. Mm. Like, she could be ready to do this really fairly quickly. He goes, it all depends on the amount of, he says, it's the determination in the soul. And yes. it's in combination with the determination to believe in the confidence. And confidence comes from continuing to practice and trust Good. him. So he says everything started. else is all open and ready to go. So it's just a matter of That's keep working cool. and keep going. I'm so proud of you, Dee. I'm really proud of you. Oh, I no, mean, it was this, you. You this, started no, it. No, no, no. This takes courage, okay? It does. It really and, and does. And knows that. It takes freaking yes, courage. It does. God, and you're a light and worker. I downloaded the app, cool. the Raider, the Ghost Raider app. Yeah. I just downloaded it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. You could, Eric will have a lot of fun with you with that. No, wait, so, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's right, Michelle. What is the yeah. app you use? I forgot to ask. So yeah, so it's um, so you can go to your Play Store or or I have an Android, so whatever it is for iPhone, um. And uh, it's called Ghost Radar, and there's the Ghost Radar Legacy. It, it does cost 99 cents to get the Legacy. Now, the Ghost oh, Radar no. app itself is free, but okay. the thing is, is when you don't pay the 99 cents, you get ads popping up, and they're a no, little bit no. annoying. So it's a one-time fee, one-time fee of 99 cents. It's worth it. It's yeah, worth it. Worth it. And, and you just, one of these times, one of these times I'll do a video demonstrating it and see if Eric can play with it with me to just show people how to use it. But, um, cool. yeah, don't have fun with it because Eric is very good at using it. And you'll notice that other spirits and other guides will come in and use it too. 
So oh, awesome. I'm going to use it. Um, play with me, Eric, please. <laughs> oh, you will. You, you don't have to you, ask me. You, you don't yeah. have to ask He prompted me to say that tonight, so he's hoping to play with a lot of people. <laughs> oh, boy, he's going to be a busy boy. All right. Yeah. 586 area code. Hey there, Lambert. How you doing? God bless you. How did your um Can, how's your how's your heart doing? Uh right now they're going to have me do a, a electrical I'm approved for the MRI. Oh, so God. Boston Scientific is also coming out. I just got to save everything from all those years. If once they yeah. turn it off at the MRI, I can't get it back. So they want to download it Friday, all the electrical yeah. heart information. Okay. And then that's going to go on, and they're going to keep a close tab. And and one of the things I've always been remiss about, your Chandlers and mediums, I never thank them, and they bless us with so oh, much so love. So I grateful. want to say that to all of them. And Michelle, you oh, know, thank you. you're wonderful. You really are. Oh, thank and, you, Amber. She's I mean, not and, talented, but she's a, an amazing soul, inside and out. I mean, she's an amazing person. Thank I can you. see it. I mean, she's so blessed, and she blesses us. Thank and you. you, you, Elise, are the diamond in God's eyes. Oh, and uh, how much more have you changed the arc again? Like I told you, if so many people well, made it amazing, better, I, and I, I was gonna go to, I was gonna go to, and with reverence and love, Eric, I do have just a couple quick questions. Mm-hmm. When when we were contacting back and forth for the, you know, almost four weeks. God finally asked me a question, which totally threw me off guard. He said, what do you think I am? And then I never got an answer. Uh, um, You know, it was, what, did he think I was like a class dunce or something? Or how did God know? That's my job. That's my job. (laughs) Oh, Eric, Eric, and so he says, what do you think I am? And that was posing you. So when we started the show, Eric had me talk about the little story that I thought was funny that he said, you are God in the bod. What do you think Uh I am? I am you. You are me. You are God. You are whole and part of God. It's what he was saying. And does he have any plans for me? Or just wait till I get up to heaven? You being here on this earth is you fulfilling the biggest part of your plans. God bless you, because I've been trying. You being who you are, yes. I've been trying. And Eric says, and, Eric says to continue to have courage, to con- continue oh to have courage. You inspire and support many people, and he says, and all of the kindness and the care that you send to other people, he says, know that that is equally spread out from you. So you being here, embodying God in the physical, is the biggest part of your mission here. That's yeah, and Eric, sweet. Eric has said many times that sometimes one's mission is just merely existing in this physical yeah. plane. You're only existing. Yeah. Your existence brings this energetic vibration that spreads across the globe. So you don't have I remember to do that. a checklist, a to-do list, I need to do this tomorrow, and that you don't have to do that. Is that the case with Lambert? Yes, I don't says, think... um, he, he says, just to say, uh, God's first contract with humanity is to embody him in the physical. Mm-hmm. And so okay. he says that Lambert is a fine example of that. Oh, gosh. Oh, you know, I love you so much, Eric. You've been my brother. I mean, we've been Mm -hmm. father and father, son. Do I have any, when we go back, did I have ever any contact with mom? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're going to go on to the next caller, but I will uh, say, uh, ask one thing, um, 
Lambert, I'm going to uh, mute you because yeah, she's going. I'm going to honor so that. What, I'm going to honor that. What can we do for him uh, from his physical medical, medical standpoint? Is there any way we can help him? With his neurop- neuropathy, dystonia, so many things. Um, <clears throat> Eric is saying, um, like, balance. Like the balance of his energy. And balance how do we do energy. that? Yeah. Um. So has he had the um the EP? EP oh, I can't even say it. Yeah, a you long know time ago. About. Yeah, a long time okay. ago. Eric said it would be beneficial to have that again for him. Okay, he just needs the, the ERPE tune-up then. Mhm. Mhm. Okay. All mm-hmm. right. Because we added so much. Awesome. All mm-hmm. right. Let's go on to the next. It's the 916 area code. Hi there. How you doing? Hi, Lisa. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. Hi, Michelle. Love you guys. Hi. We love you too. Hi. Um, love you. I'm calling I'm calling because um, I had the Atlanta Scalar um, services done and I'm just kind of um, frustrated because I keep doing it and it's not doing anything and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, yeah, it's infection because it's the infection eradication, right? Yeah, yeah, and I also did. Yeah, I mean that's that one of the most successful ones. So why? I mean, we had one lady who had hepatitis C. Her um, her doctors told her, "Here, here's a prescription for um, interferon and something else." And she didn't take it. She did the infection eradication instead. She goes back and mm-hmm. she's free of the virus. And we've had people who said, I had parasites all in my body and they didn't give me anything. And so I, you know, returned to them and there's no parasites. So I don't understand what's going on with Ashley. What is going on? Does she need the okay, immune so system optimization? Is it, is it something no, else? Is it like, no. Um, you Eric, Eric says because energy work that Eric says has already been done. He says think of it as because um, it, it should show the results. Like the work that's been done with Scalar is as much as you can do from that point right now. But he's bringing it to your energy, and there's a couple things he wants to show you. And one is um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions because what Eric is talking about uh, love, about love particularly in your life. And are you in a relationship right now? Yes. Okay. Because he's saying the first thing has to do with your um, deserving. He says because there's past life and he's bringing it through as being deserving of love. And he says Mm -hmm. deserving of love for yourself and denial of love. So I don't know how that quite fits in your life, but he says it's energy. It's the energy of change. And so it's not that the scalar work, how he shows it to me is it's like um, when it's about to make a change, it's like a big balloon around you. And sometimes, like we were talking about before, if we don't feel deserving in some way, and when it comes to um, anything that's like um, with the skin or with uh, infection, with any of those types of things, it comes down to something that we deny within ourselves. Oh, like that makes that total sense in in Oh, it makes total sense in Ashley's case. The whole thing about love and skin and all, yeah. Wow. Okay, okay so, so um, I recommend mm-hmm. everybody when they order some scalar deal, watch all the testimonials on the Atlanta Scalar site. Beat up your, you know, your your belief system about how amazing it is. But go ahead. Sorry. What can we do? I want to help her. Um, Eric says, you know, it's not, sometimes it's being able to talk through it energetically with somebody that is able to tap into that with you. Yeah. And, and if, you, if you contact me, I will get you in to, to talk to you. That even if we can just talk on the phone for a half an hour, that I can talk to you just a little bit further past today to help move some of that energy. Because I think it's more of a, um, it's more of a subconscious thing because that's how all of this works, right? And yeah. sometimes why something doesn't show up or why it doesn't show up right away is it's part of our experience, Eric says, to be able to go through that learning process. 
So it doesn't mean that it's not going to work because I can tell you it, it is all ready to go for you. This is part of your experience. Oh, good. But sometimes it's, it's being able to, to have somebody just kind of help work through that with you. Right. And maybe you could do a oh. healing session on her. I mean, there's, there's so many I, possibilities. I'd be happy to. Yeah. So it's thehealingh-art.com. It's like, yes. so I, I, I always tell like, there's no, we don't need to do it again on you. We don't need immune system work. No, I, I don't think so. No. I think, yeah. No. And, and she's had a lot of, like, yeah, a lot of people says she has yeah. enough of it. It's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah. Now, of course, there's also a lot of people do do it, it makes it better if they do the boost in self love um, skater work, but that might not be necessary. But if that's an option if if you need it. So, all right. Okay. So he says that. Just just to add, he says that he goes, and that is true, Mom, but part of why he's recommending it in the way that he's asking me with talking to you is yeah. because it's it's like the understanding. It's for you to have the understanding right. because it will be more beneficial for you to have that deeper mm-hmm. understanding because that's what makes that shift. And once yeah. that shift happens, that's where you start to Ooh. release any density and allow the rest of it to come in. Oh. That's awesome. All right, Ashley, thank, thank you for calling in. Thank you so in. much. I have Okay, thanks, hopes. Ashley. I do, I do have high hopes for her. Yes. Um, oh, definitely. She's just an adorable person. I, she's yeah. special. I, I really love yeah. Ashley. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, 412 area code. Hi there. How you doing? I think I know who this is. Lori, hi. Hi. Hi, Elisa. Um, hi, first, sweetie. I'd like to thank you for all your help. You've been a great help to me. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm I wish I, had from, yeah. I know from Presto, and I lost my son Jacob a little over three months ago to leukemia, and mm-hmm. he's so greatly missed by me, by many. And you know, I've been looking for signs, and I haven't detected any. But your show helped me uh, to to try some new things. But most of all, I just want to know if if he has a message for me, his mom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lori, Mm L-O-R-I. Yes. And, and Lori, you know, um, I've, I've gotten familiar with Jacob's energy. He's come in a couple of times now and, and um, I can feel him coming in here with Eric. And so he says hi to you. He says, I love you. Um, He's also, he, right. First thing he says, he's like, my mom is an awesome mom. He's like, do you know how much this mom did for me? He goes, she was there for me for everything. He says, Mom, no, I am no. so thankful for you. I am so thankful for you. He talks about your health. So he's a little concerned about your health right now. Um, yeah. He also says, he says, Mom, um, some ways that will help lighten you up a little bit is he says, yeah. and, and Jacob must have been very helpful to other people. Are very yes. encouraging to other people because he says, "Mom, yeah. he says if you can spread that love of helping, that love of helping other people, yeah. it's going to help you." Feel so they better. have, it's they have. Help I mean, they, they, they really, well, I, I, yeah, I isolate yeah. myself right now, and um, mm-hmm. you know, and people trying to reach out, it's just hard because I just miss them, and but of uh-huh. course, you know. So yeah, I haven't said, been doing great. I, I gotta tell you, Lisa, he's he's really like he's adamant because he says that you're meant to help people in this world. You know how you, if you've been on here every week with us, and there's a reason for that yeah. because just like Eric and Elisa help the world together, you have a mission with your son. Wow, you've yeah. got something because your your son didn't just come into this world and and exit without making a mark. Because not only has he made a mark in this world, but he is ready to make a mark in this world with your help. I don't know how to do it, but okay. It'll he, come. He right now, that, he was that he person all who to, mm-hmm. Go attracted ahead. people. He's just yes. attracted people. Everyone loved him. Me, I'm like, like introverted and, and yeah. solitary. 
And Same I don't know how to do yeah. what he did. Yeah. yeah. But, well, um, you know, here's, here's, here's the best part, though, is he says, Mom, he goes, I'm there with you to help you in every step of the way. He goes, we're right at the very <laughs> beginning of it right now. We're right at the very beginning. As Eric said in this whole the, the, this whole topic, ask Jacob for information for signs. You know, to to mm-hmm. put yeah. it in your head. What is the next step? Now, I, I have been oh, wow. struggling with I've been struggling with Lori because I want to help her so much, yeah. but I'm really afraid that every time I talk to her, I'm I'm really afraid that I'm gonna um, trigger things. And you know, Lori says you, no, you're not. but I don't know what to do. You've been a help to me because you've opened this world where I've seen where Jacob is and before yeah, I didn't yeah. know where he was. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's, I just don't. I, I just I don't want to trigger. Signs. I just don't want to trigger. I know. And I visit him every day where he yeah. is yeah. now. And I'm just looking and looking. And I don't think I'm there yet because this is new to me. He's the oh, first person. Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, Jacob says. Jacob says yeah. that it's it there's a process that's happening in you right now. Yeah. And he says it's a right. very, very real process that's happening. Yeah. And he says, okay. and Mom, he says, look, you will look back and you will remember these times because you will see other parents. You will see other people yeah. that are in these moments. Okay. And he said and he says and, and you will never forget it, but you yeah. will you will move past you will yeah. hold it okay. in a lighter space. He says, okay. I promise you that. He just says, Mom, okay. breathe in deep. Breathe in deep. He says, loosen your okay. shoulders and smile and see my face. Close your eyes and see my face. I miss his face. He says, and every okay. time you see that, know that I'm right there. He says, I love you. I love you. Okay. I love you. Oh. I love you too. All right. Thank you so much to both. Oh, you're you welcome, honey. I know the pain so well. All right, we've got time for a very short question from 732 area code. We've only got a couple of minutes, so do you have to I love you so much. I have to get that in, and thank you very much. Oh, thank you. (laughs) Eric, can you please tell me, is Robert a blessing because he raises my vibration, or is he something that I have to give up and overcome in, in this, or... Is he my future, or is he my a twin flame? What What is he to me? Oh, what is your first name again? Melissa from Tom's River. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Well, well he what he's saying is he is. Um, he goes well. I know you're looking for something really specific to say. What should I do with him? But he says part of what you're learning right now is to be able to. See love in yourself and be able to see mm. that connection in him for what it is right now. He says, um, so giving you that specific of is this going somewhere or is it going to be something more than that? He goes, what I'm going to tell you is there's a very specific reason why you're connected with him. And Ooh. is it worth discovering? Yes, it is. But he says to really pay attention to um, what what you see uh, how do you say this, Eric? Um, what what you see of yourself in him, and that wow. would tell me that there's some sort of a twin connection there. Yes. Ooh. Will this take a a a, um, a, a session with a medium, like a, a full session, like with you, Michelle? That would that benefit her? Yeah. I mean, you, this is something that you could get into a lot deeper. But Eric also said yeah. sometimes things are not meant to be fully understood right at the beginning. Oh, yeah. And part of that is the process of understanding. And he says it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. Yeah, true. <laughs> thank all you. right, guys. Actually very I poignant, so I appreciate welcome. that. Message. Oh, you you, thank you, Eric. Thank you. You're so welcome. We're out, of, we're out of time. Thank you so much, guys. Please be sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, and share this with people you care about, which should be everybody. And you guys check out Michelle Gray, awesome healer, awesome psychic medium, or medium, uh, a channeler, everything. She just checked, master of all trades. 
Anyway, uh, at <laughs> thehealingh-art.com. And I love you, Eric. I love you, Michelle. And I love you, all you <laughs> listeners. I really do. Love you, Mama. I know, I know that sounds like positive, but it's not. Love you. Yeah. Bye-bye. We love you all.